Hi, let's find the value of x and y in this particular diagram. Welcome back to my channel. Now, this is not drawn to scale, and this is the second and the third method of solving this particular problem. We already solved, we've solved the first using a different method, okay? We've solved it before, so this is second and third method. All right, let's go. So the second method, is actually this method is actually very easy to apply first of all this is the center of this circle so let's call it c let's call this point point a this is point b this is c okay and let's call this d cd is actually the radius of this circle okay all right now if we should join which is also equal to y. So it means that the radius of the circle is equal to y. Is equal to y. All right, now if we join A to C, if we join A to C, permit me to stand here so I can do that well. All right. Now AC is also what the radius of the circle, right? Now, this implies that AC is also equal to Y. So, permit me to write Y here. And this is what a right-angled triangle, right? Okay. Now, in triangle ABC, using the Pythagorean theorem, Using the Pythagorean theorem. Now, using the Pythagorean theorem, we can write that AB squared plus BC squared is equal to Y squared. Okay? All right. Now, AB is 5. So, we have 5 squared is plus bc is x you can see right x squared is equal to y squared now i'm going to repeat what i wrote here in case if you cannot see it from there now so i'm going to write that using pythagorean theorem it means that 5 squared plus x squared is equal to y squared now I'm transferring this to this side we have that 5 squared is equal to y squared minus x squared. Now, using the difference of two squares, right? We have that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. So, we are going to apply that here, all right? Now, 5 squared is 25 is equal to a minus b, that is y minus x, multiplied by y plus x. Okay, so we have 25 is equal to, please hit the subscription button, turn on the notification bell. If this is the first time you are seeing us, give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing. Okay, thank you so much. Now, we have y minus x. And y plus x is given already as 12. Remember that addition is commutative. So y plus x and x plus y will give us the same thing. Okay. Now, dividing both sides by 12. Dividing both sides by 12. Dividing both sides by 12. We will have... 25 divided by 12 is equal to y minus x multiplied by 12 divided by 12. Now, this 12, we divide itself, we have 1. So, now we can say that y minus x is equal to 25 over 12. So, that is the first equation we have gotten. Now, permit me to clean this. Okay, 
So now we have that y minus six is equal to 25 over 12. y minus six is equal to 25 divided by 12. Let's call this equation one. Now we already know that x plus y or y plus x is equal to 12. So let's use it as our second equation. So y plus x is equal to 12 equation two. Now let's add equation one to equation two. Y plus y will give us two y. Minus x plus x is zero. So two y is equal to 25 over 12 plus 12 over one. So we have two y is equal to the LCM is 12, 12 divide itself one, one times 25 is 25. Plus, when 1 divides 12, we have 12, 12 times 12 is 144. So we have 2y is equal to 169 divided by 12. Now moving forward, to get the value of y, we divide both sides by 2 or we multiply both sides by 1 over 2. So multiplying both sides by 1 over 2, we will have we have 2y over 2 is equal to 169 over 12 multiplied by half, right? So this remove this, we have y equals 169 over 24. So this becomes the value of y. Now recall that x plus y is equal to 12. So this implies that x is equal to 12 minus y, right? So our x will be equal to 12 minus, and our y is 169 over 24. So moving forward, we have x is equal to, now the LCM is what? 24. Now when 1 divides 24, we have 24. 24 times 12 is 288 minus 24 divided itself. We have 1. 1 times 169 is 169. So solving or moving forward, we will have that. Okay. So we have that x is equal to 18 minus 9 is 8. 7 minus 6 is 1. And then we have 1. All right. Okay. Now, we have 1, 1, sorry, 18 minus 9 is 9. Yeah, so we have 1, 1, 9 over 24 as a value of our x and 169 over 24 as, a, as the value of our y. Now, let's use the third method. The third method is faster and easier, okay? So, um... All right, so for the third method, we are going to complete this diagram here. Remember, this is point B. Okay, but let's extrapolate this. If we do that, it means that this is also 5 as well, right? Now, let's call this M. Let's call this point B. It's already point B, okay? BC is X, yeah. All right, then let's complete this. This is C. Now, this place is D. Okay. Um, remember code code theorem, right? Using code code theorem. Using code code theorem. Using code code theorem. Now, we have that A, B multiplied by B, E. Let's call this E. 
AB multiplied by BE should be equal to MB multiplied by BD. MB multiplied by BD. Okay? All right. Now, AB is 5 and BE is 5. So, we have 5 multiplied by 5 is equal to MB MB multiplied by BD. Now, before we go over to that, we know that CD, CD is the radius, right? CD is radius, which is equal to Y. And, oh, this is D as well. Please, let's call this something else, F. Okay? So, CF is what the radius of this circle, which is what Y. And CD is also radius, right? CD is also the radius. So, it should also be equal to Y. So, I can write this place to be Y. Okay? So, having done that, then we can say that BD... BD is X plus Y, bracket X plus Y. So we have 5 times 5 is 25, is equal to MB multiplied by 12. Since X plus Y is given as 12, so we divide by 12, divide by 12. So we have that MB is equal to 25 over 12. So, we have that from here to here is 25 over 12. But MD is equal to MB plus BD. Okay? MD is MB plus BD and is the diameter of this circle, right? So, MB or MD is equal to now, MB is giving us, we've gotten it to be 25 over 12 plus. Uh, BD is X plus Y, which is 12 over 1. Now, if we add this to this, let's go. So, we have MD is equal to, the LCM is 12. 12 divided itself, 1, 1 times 25 is 25. 1 divided, so 1 divided 12, 12, 12 times 12 is 144. So we have that MD is 169 divided by 12. Now MD is what? The diameter. So we can say that MD is what? The diameter of this circle. Alright. And we can get half of it to give us the radius, right? So the radius should be equal to MD divided by 2 or MD multiplied by half. So it simply means that the radius, okay? So it simply means that the radius is equal to the diameter, which is 169 over 12, multiplied by half. So our radius is 169 divided by 24. So this implies that our y is equal to, because our y is the radius, right? So this implies that our y is 169 divided by 24. Alright? Okay. Now, we've already solved the other time, you can now get your x by subtracting y from 12. So our x now will be 12 minus y. And you are still going to get 119 divided by 24. Just like we got using the other method. Thank you for watching.